Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Fate. And we are here today with a brand new Let's Play. So, I welcome you guys to a game called Origami 2. This game just released as of today, September 16th, 2021. Dating the recording. What a cool guy. Anywho. Yeah, this game just released on the Xbox Game Pass. And uh, it's looking like a pretty interesting title here. So uh, as far as I know, it's like a third person stealth ninja type of game. And uh, all of that stuff intrigues me. So I'm definitely curious and I want to hop into this and uh, check it out. So uh, as I stated, this game is available on Game Pass as well as it is a Series X optimized game so uh we'll be able to bring it to you in all of its visual fidelity here on the xbox series x today so without further ado let's get into it so uh, it looks like we have a few different character saves here so we're just gonna go ahead and take the top slot and uh let's just go with this the basics nice and easy fate there it is let's go hello there we go Ooh, we got a cutscene. We got Japanese subtitling, huh? Ooh. Disappeared overnight. Oh, Oh. I don't know if you guys can agree with this, but whenever there's Japanese uh, voice acting, I feel like it just adds so much more like passion and emotion into things. It's insane. Just like, I don't know, something about the Japanese language. It's a very satisfying thing to hear. Maybe that's a weeby thing to say, you know being the most prominent thing uh, that takes advantage of that being anime and such, but uh, I don't know. It, uh, even if you're not a huge advocate of it, I feel like if you uh, are exposed to it enough, it kind of grows on you. Uh, but anyways, here we are. So, ooh, man, this game, this game feels nice. It's like smooth. This, this has got to be like a 60 FPS. Uh, I do have 120 FPS on as well. I don't know if it's 120. It's definitely only going to be 60 in a recording. But honestly, I can't even tell if it's a 120 or not. I'll have to check the specs a little bit later on and confirm exactly what it is with the optimizations. Um, I looked through settings already. There's no like performance mode versus resolution mode or anything like that. So it's just straight up, you know, whatever graphics they chose for it. But it looks pretty nice and it feels good. Feels good. So a couple things I notice off the bat here. When we go into the shadows, we have like some... Uh, I don't know, like we're highlighted. We're almost highlighted here. Oh, LT brings up like a... Huh. Interesting. And then I think if you click in the left stick, you can crouch. So I think those are pretty much the basic controls that I know so far. Press A to jump. We have a double jump. Ooh, a flip. Like it. If you hold jump, you jump a little bit higher. Press RT to teleport. An available ledge. Bear in mind, Shadow Leap is... There's teleportation? Bruh. Whoa. That's sick. Dude, this game's already insane. I like this. Just with how it feels and the controls and stuff and, like, what's available in the game is dope. Oh, God. Oh, you can even do, like, a, a teleport dodge, it seems. Hold on. We can teleport up, and then look at this. So if I press B, do like, a teleport... Dash and sprint. Press B to dash. Hold B to sprint after performing a dash. Oh. 
but it uses our stamina. That's very interesting. There's a stamina bar in this game. I like that actually. It's giving me a Souls-like vibe from that. Um, and then if we're crouched and press B, we do a roll. Ooh, saucy. And you can even oh, you can go out of the crouch into a roll, into a sprint. Dude, we are athletic. Let's go. Anywho, let's carry on here. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be kind of like a tutorial-ish type of area, scenario section. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go this way. It looks like potentially we can unlock to go that way. But we're not going that way yet. Um, so use the environment to remain hidden and avoid making noise when you're close to an enemy. Press left stick to cra- oh. Man, I'm just a gamer. I already figured that out. Press LS to crouch. By crouching, you become less visible and you move silently. Crouching in tall grass makes you unnoticeable. So we got like the Assassin's Creed style uh, shrubbery and foliage. I like it. Rooftops and other tall structures provide secure vantage points. Remaining in the shadow affects your enemy's ability to spot you. So yeah, I noticed that like when you're when you're highlighted by being in a shadow, it uh, you know kind of gives you an advantage, I suppose. Hey boys, how's it going? We're just gonna crowd. Oh yeah, see, so look at that. We we go into hidden mode. Oh, there's target lock. Ooh boy, ooh boy. Okay, I'm I'm intrigued to see what some combat's gonna be like in this game. Uh, what do we have? So we can teleport up to that. Teleport up to that ledge. We're past those nerds. Now we're back here. Um, that gate is closed, so they can't see us. Ooh, this is. It's interesting. Now, what is going on over here? Is there like other collectibles and things in this game? I don't know. We'll probably get to that later on. <laughs> Wait, why am I? Look at that. <laughs> nice. Nice wall that you're uh, leaning against there, bruh. <laughs> Sick. All right. Run. Bro. Oh my, that's so satisfying. All right, so we could teleport up to this, I assume. Or maybe we got to climb. Please don't notice us. All right, yeah, he totally wouldn't have like seen that in his peripherals or anything. Um, can I TP to that? It looks like we're supposed to jump across this. Pro oh, never mind. Maybe we should just take the safe route and stay in the lurk in the lurk in the shrubbery, lurk in the shadows, and go this way. Later, nerds. Direct. So I wonder, I wonder um, if there, if you can play this game like how you want to play it, uh, as in if you could like basically induce combat or uh, engage in combat or if certain things force you to stay stealthy and other things force you to do combat or if you can play most of the game stealthily or if you can play most of it combat wise i'm curious so let's see shadow vision lets you see enemies and other interactive elements through obstacles and also shows the current mission objective hold ltd shadow vision once again already ahead of the game Use shadow vision to survey an area and pinpoint enemy patrols. So I wonder if we can mark them. I wonder if like seeing them will leave them marked. I get no, nah, I won't leave them marked, but that's fine. That's not a huge issue. Um. So yeah, it's telling us to shadow leap. Oop. Oh wow, we can even do it like when we're on the ledge like this. Dope. I'm just going to go over this way. I guess we're going to try and remain pretty much hidden. For the most part. So it looks like they have... Uh, okay. So they have meters that go up when they're spotting you. Just like any other typical like uh, stealth-based game of sorts. So far, so far I'm liking this. I'm liking what I'm seeing with the, the game mechanics and features and stuff. Low. We'll have to see how some combat is at some point, and then that will really uh, determine if I'm going to be a big fan of this or not. I mean, I, I just already like the whole like ninja-style stealth vibe and all that stuff by default, but you know. Uh, bamboo. Can I, can I climb up this? Shit. Hey, dude. Doesn't look like I can teleport grab right here, but I think I can teleport grab from over there maybe. After he turns around. Yeah, turn your ass around, boy. Yeah, we can... Okay. Oh, bro, that's so satisfying. Mmm! Dope. So optionally, we could drop down there, or we could just TP. Yeah, we could TP straight over to that. Sick. 
Alright, so while he's not looking. Bro, we are such stealthy boys. <gasps> Weapon. Oh, baby. This is going to be our first victim right here. I already feel it. It's it's set up. He's looking away from us. We're getting the sword right here. Ooh, doggy. Support items grant different instant effects that can make the difference between winning or losing when used in the appropriate moment. To use support items, open the menu wheel by pressing LB and selecting the item you want to use. Once selected, use it by pressing RB. Use the vitality potion and restore your vitality and continue your journey. Oh shoot, so our vitality is probably the red and we have like no health. Wow. Uh, so, okay, so you use the right stick to select something, and then once you're over something, you use RB to... Okay. Oh, wow, so, oh, I see. So you, you straight up select something, and then it's just... There we go, we're back to max health. Wait, that wasn't our weapon, was it? Uh, I don't know. So my question is, are we... Post to engage in combat, or do we remain stealthy boys? Assassination and knockout. Ooh, press X to close an un. Press X close to an unaware enemy. Assassination. Press Y to close an un. To press Y close to an unaware enemy. I don't know why I was reading it as to close an enemy. I was like, what the fuck? So should we knock this guy out, or should we just rip him? Honestly. We gotta go for the assassination, right? We have the opportunity. Let's do it. Ooh. Yeah, you're getting it, boy. Ooh. Okay. Some nice blood spray. Honestly, I was, ex I was like, partly expecting his head to just fling off right there, the way we were going in at that slice angle, but that's okay. That is okay. Ooh, we can carry him. So it looks like we can hide the bodies. Too bad we don't have some fucking cleaning supplies to get rid of all that blood, bro. Oh my gosh. That totally won't uh, alarm anybody or alert any guards if they ever see a pool of blood like that. Jeez, man. <gasps> oh God. Oh. Combat, sometimes combat is an end. Okay, well this answers my question from earlier, first of all. Um, secondly, sometimes combat is inevitable. But you should consider a strategic retreat when the odds are not in your favor. Press RS to lock the camera onto an enemy and switch to a combat stance. You'll now have a chance to practice the basics of combat without taking any damage. Ooh, okay. Press X to attack. Attack the enemy three times to continue. Alright. Ooh. Hold Y to block enemy attacks. Receiving an attack while blocking will use your stamina. Running out of stamina will leave you vulnerable to opponent attacks. Block three attacks. Oh, so X attack, Y block. Oh, okay. Can we like parry if we time it well? Ow. Okay, and if you're holding block, obviously your stamina doesn't come back. Good to know. Press Y right before... Dude, I'm assuming you guys can tell I've played games before as uh, <laughs> I keep speaking these tutorials into existence. Press Y right before an enemy attack to trigger a parry, lowering your opponent's stamina. Parry three attacks to continue. All right. Dude, this is kind of like Sekiro. I, didn't, I never fully played that game, but I need to someday. Maybe this game is more forgiving than that game and I can actually learn from this game better to get good at that one. I mean, I've played plenty of Souls likes as well, but there's something about Sekiro. Sekiro is a totally different game than Souls. Oh, fuck. Bro! His swings are delayed as shit. Come on. That's not a parry? Wow. Okay, you gotta really be on that time. Come on, bitch. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you have to tap it, like, as it's coming at you. That's kind of scary. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Press B to dash and evade enemy attacks. Use it while moving to dash in a certain direction. Perform a dash. We'll use your stamina. Dash three times to continue. Dude, oh my gosh. We actually have some souls-like combat. This is sick. Bitch. 
Ooh, that's satisfying. Who needs iframes when you just go invisible? Ooh, get clapped. Your opponent's vitality and stamina are displayed above their head when locked on. A character's stamina will decrease when performing a dash or block, or when receiving a parry. So it sounds like maybe we need to run their stamina out. So there's probably going to be some enemies who are like completely like full defensive boys who block every attack and you gotta like run their stamina out to then be able to actually attack them so mm. hello i i held a i promise come on bitch okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry oh my god okay Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh, fuck him up. I'm just R1. Shit. Alright, give it <laughs> here, we gotta we gotta adjust. Oh! 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 Ah, oh, fuck, dude! Well Sam's gonna be intense, shit. Dude, he does a lot of damage every fucking kill! We are here for blood. Oh my gosh. Dude, this game's gonna be hard. Oh my gosh. That one dude's eating all my health. I, Dude, it's gonna be hard for me to ever only knock out enemies. Maybe there's like a pacifist percent like achievement or some shit for this game. But we're, we're a god dang stealthy ninja, bro. We are gonna be knocking everyone out. Like that's that's just all there is to it. Can I can I grab that? It looks like a paper bomb or something. Collectible? Schling! <laughs> Alright, I guess it's nothing. Moving on. Uh, let's go up here. Ooh, dude. There's gonna be an aerial attack. Here it is. Aerial assassination and knockout. Assassinations and knockouts can also be performed. From above, when landing on an unaware enemy, assassination, press X while falling on an unaware enemy, press Y while falling towards an unaware enemy to knock them out. Well, you guys already know the drill. You best believe this guy's getting the sauce. Oh, that was shit. Oh, never mind. I can't tell if that was an assassination or not. I didn't hold the button the whole time we came towards him. I kind of like let go and then repressed it, but we did kind of like one tap him. So I'm assuming that was an assassination. What the f- <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> oh my God. I was not expecting the throw to be like that. <laughs> I think since I threw him over those boxes, he kind of like skated along them. So he went a lot further than he was supposed to. What if we check him off the edge? And I, I... Oh, he just disappears. Okay. Very well. <laughs> Jeez, man. <gasps> hey there, dude. Bitch. Oh, I'm still, dude. This game is sick. I like this a lot. This is way more than I was expecting this game to be. Oh, <laughs> he went a lot further before he disappeared. Lean on wall. Lean on walls are similar surfaces to acquire a different stance that will let you peek around corners and activate special kill and knockout types. These as well as those performed from within the grass, from a ledge or from lower cover make less noise. Ooh, so we can we can basically just perform uh, assassinations and knockouts from cover, whether it be a wall or grass. I like it. I like it. I like how the tutorial video is literally exactly what we're doing. And okay, so you automatically, oh, so it, it lets you know when it's time. Can we get a combo on this guy? Can I like assassinate this dude and then like chuck my sword at that guy? Like eventually, that'd be dope. So simultaneously, we're able to hide the body as we, uh, as we do that there. I should have moved up on that guy. I could have used my shadow dash to like get close to him. Wasn't thinking about it though. We'll still we'll still hit him with the shadow dash, don't worry, for the style points, but 
Now it just won't be as fluid of a combo. Alright, I didn't do it to your buddy, but you're gonna get it, bro. Yeet! <laughs> that will never get old. Maybe it will. Maybe it will at some point, but as of right now, love it. Traverse the next area using everything you've learned so far. Engage in combat, eliminate your opponents from the shadows, or sneak undetected. It's your choice. Well, there we did it. Create your own path. Dope. Remain unnoticed using the shadows, grass, and tall structures. Press LS to crouch. Stay out of sight of your enemies. Aim at a ledge and press RT to use shadow leap. Hold LT to use shadow vision and scout your surroundings. Let's go. And that, that shadow uh, teleport thing takes a lot of stamina. Uh, so what do we have? We have three, e four enemies even. Okay. You didn't see anything, boy. Don't uh. Don't worry about all that blood there. That's just uh, that's just fertilizer. That's just that's just grass fertilizer, man. Man, I can reach that guy from there. Let's go. Oh, the sound is crispy in this game too. Hell yeah. Uh, so what do we have remaining? We got two more guys. I would not have double jumped to that. I probably would have used the teleport if I... Oh, there's five guys. But for some reason, that dude's out of range, I guess. Huh. So I'm assuming I can hit this guy with a mad dive bomb. Oh, shoot. There's a lot more guys. Oh, will they notice me up here? So what we should probably do is when that guy turns around, we should go for this guy. Can I jump that far? Oh, son of a bitch! Oh god, this is bad. I'm sorry. Run! Run! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Oh my god, bro. I missed my I missed my opportunity. Fuck. Plus I had like zero health from earlier. That was AIDS. Bro, this combat is Ooh, it's gonna take some time to adjust. Gotta adjust to it. All right, we'll hit we'll, we'll hit both of these guys with the cheeky little combo real quick. Drop down, scuff this guy up. Later, nerd. Dodge, dodge. Get against the wall. Hit him with it. Yes. Now we're now we're getting the combat flow, baby. Maybe I can't. Oh, this guy's in a shadow. So that that will work to my advantage. Hell yeah. Get up here. Scout. Oh my, dude, there's a lot of guys around here. Way more than I was expecting. We got a dude right here. That guy's gonna walk all the way around over there. We can drop on this guy. Hit him with it. Uh-oh. I was a little bit scuffed, but God. Oh, I forgot I could probably escape to the roof to evade, avoid combat. Lots of scenarios. Bitch. I'm not being very efficient about hiding the bodies here, but Ooh. can I take this sword? No. Oh. Shit. Bro, make up your mind. 
I was being a dumbass right there. Holy. Yeah! Get him out of here. Screw that guy. He wrecked me. This game is fun, dude. Holy. Sick. We slayed everyone over there. Is this the last guy? <laughs> yes! That was sick. Anything else over here? Housekeeping? Is there a flea market here? What is all this? I wonder, I wonder if there's going to be upgrades for like stamina and stuff as we go. I, I would assume so. Actually, is there is there something over here? There's a death ledge. 100% not supposed to go that way. I'm assuming we're done now. Cleared everything out here. Wrecked some noobs. Is there anything else? Area? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything up here? Curious. I'm going to be an exploring boy as we uh, go around in this game. Press B to dash sprint after performing a dash. You both use stamina. What's over here? Okay, so we can't go that way yet. Maybe, maybe these areas will unlock after time. We're so fast when we sprint. And it's basically like a B sprint. Once again, like a Dark Souls-esque uh, control, which I can get behind. It's been a while since I played a Souls game though, so. Oh shit. Oh no. Big boss man. <sighs> Jesus, dude. These guys are ruthless. Yeah! Oh, dude. Beings? I'm pretty sure these are humans. Is that us? Yo! This is sick! I love the cinematic uh, like, uh, breaks this game takes. It's not just straight up all 100% combat. Like, it flows well. Dude, we look like such a badass as well. Oh god, it's the boss man. Oh god. Oh! What is happening? God. What the f What is that?
Rosh Rashomon Valley. Son, we get a dope ass mask as well. This game's raw, dude. Ooh. Denisona Iniaita. Akatsuki. Shiri Akurotsuba. Is this our base of ops? Katashi, no way. Am I actually in a Naruto like parallel universe game? Shadow Essence. So revival is the curse. At least I think that's what it is. Just like unending agony of like having to relive like a painful life. I'm thoroughly impressed. Leader Katashi, you've experienced the awakening. From the shackles, or you have been freed from the shackles of your mind. Your soul has brought you here to be reborn. Free. You have completed the prologue. Damn, son! We are the Kurotsuba clan, guardians of the valley and its people. The invader nation. The Akatsuchi? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what is this? The Akatsuchi is using their fire to lay waste to these lands. In their wake, they leave scorched woods, fields of ash, and the stench of burning bones. If we don't hurry... The peasants of the valley will be wiped out or enslaved. And the mountain, its resources, nature and beauty will perish to be no more. Sure. We need we need to find the cure to our curse before we lose our humanity. Before we turn into a different type of being, we don't have much time. Mm. Talk wow. to Iwao. You'll see in him the horrors of our curse. Wow, Revenant. Dude, I am so impressed with this game. I was not expecting this like narrative storyline side out of this, but this is sick. Dude, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna love this game, but I feel like it's gonna be a love hate relationship for some parts of it. As I, I think some parts are gonna be pretty tough, but we'll uh we'll do our best, truck on through and freaking mm, try and dominate, try and dominate this this game. Uh, but I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up here, guys. So uh, man, I'm. I'm kind of speechless right now, but I'm, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this game has to bring going forward. I'm really liking uh, the combat style in the game. It's uh, looking to be pretty promising. Uh, I'm loving the narratives, the cutscenes, the cinematics, and all the stuff like that. The game's pretty seamless so far. Gotta, you know, thank the new hardware for that um, as far as the console and stuff goes. So, uh, hell yeah, dude. Gaming experiences are freaking amazing with all this new tech, man. Loving it so far. But uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you enjoyed about the video. And uh, if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, be sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you can receive live updates for brand new videos. But that's all for now, guys. So uh, until the next time, have a good one, and I will catch you guys in the next video.